All right. So it's always a party at Patchwork. So let's get this party started. Woot, woot. Hi, everyone. This is Julie from Patchworks, and I am so excited that you're joining us for another Must Sew TV tonight here at Patchworks. So, I'd like to welcome you. We have some new stuff to show you. We have a new bundle of the week. We have a little demo planned for you. I'm flying solo, so make sure if there are any questions along the way that you jot them in the comments and I'll do my best to get to answer them. We have a great program tonight, and then tomorrow night we are going to be having two nights of fun this week. Tomorrow night we are going to be talking about our temperature quilt, we're going to be talking toes in the sand, and um, just a little bit more bonus content to talk about all sorts of things that we've been wanting to talk about. So you're going to have two nights of me this week, and if you can't catch me live tomorrow, don't worry. Uh, we are always on the YouTube channel, and you can always watch me as many times as you'd like. I like to keep you company in your sewing room at 3 o'clock in the morning. All right, so why don't we get started by looking at our exciting bundle of the week this week. I'm so excited for this one. I know you are going to be too. This is a super special one. We don't always, well, I don't think we've done batiks yet. So our bundle of the week, if this is your first time joining us, is I go around the store and I curate 12 different fabrics into a fat quarter pack, very limited edition. This week we made 10 bundles. So there's only 10 of them. The special price is $24.99. If there are still some left over after Saturday, the price bumps up to the regular price of $39. So really great things. Let's take a peek at them. And I also have a little code for you if you had wanted to purchase that one right away. So I'm going to make that go away so that you can see the full range of fabrics. And let's see if I can show them to you. Ooh, ah. So, really beautiful here. We have some purple. And this is different manufacturers. This is a combination of Hoffman Batiks and Robert Kaufman, some Island Batik. I don't think I used any Timeless Treasures in here. But all first quality, beautiful, fabrics that I just thought would go together for a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous project. 12 fat quarters is three yards of fabric, three yards of fabric used all by itself. It can make a lap size quilt, and if you pair it with a background fabric, you can get a whole lot more. I am super excited that uh, we will be sharing with you starting next week. I have a special 12-pack pattern that I'll be sharing with you, so that's super exciting. I don't have a specific 12-pack pattern or fat stack pattern for you every single week. We've been using them throughout the store for quite some time, and it works well with any fat quarter pattern. However, next week I will have a special that quarter pattern for all of you. So that is super, super, super exciting. <laughs> Can't wait. So what do you think about the pack? Is it super exciting? Speaking of batiks, we have some new batiks that came in that are Mambo Batiks by Moda. And this is a beautiful collection that I will show it to you. We also have the layer cakes, jelly rolls, and charm packs for that, all available on our website, which is exciting. I was able to update our website right before we went live today. So I have the collection link up on the screen right now. I believe that also feeds into the comments for you as well. Every week what I've been trying to do is update the front of our website so that 
you see a line of new arrivals in there and I have a little picture with the collection that will lead you to the page and then every week it moves over a little bit farther until it drops off the page but of course all fabric would still be there. I hope you find that helpful as you can see what's new in the store. So let me pull over our Mambo Batiks and I'm going to show them to you. Look at this. Oh, there are 32 fat quarters in, or 32 fabrics in this collection. The fat quarter collection is 104 and for all 32 of them, and if you had wanted a half yard tower of them, I believe it is 208. We do of course have goods available by the yard as well. So let's take a peek overhead. You can see here, oh, luscious. And you know what? I was trying to be a helper. Look at that. The bundle of the week does complement these gorgeous things. So you can just scoop up all of them. Yeah. Okay, so we have them here. Let me see, make sure I don't go off screen here. Full rainbow collection, nice tropical. This piece here, this is an interesting art piece. So I believe you achieved this particular design by scrunching it up, doing some fun, interesting throwing of the die, of the different dies. So with the folding technique, that creates a very interesting pattern there. Love that. I love the combination of full color prints as well as having some just go withs. So this is another interesting, it's not a flat watercolor tonal that goes with it, but it does have some interesting technique. I'm not quite sure what it is. I don't know if it has some salt added. I'm not a fabric dyer, but I know that there are some really cool techniques. This one here has some striping happening, and that's just really cool. So the striping is length of fabric. So if you were to cut binding out of it, you would get, or cut your borders, you could get this really interesting pattern going on, which is super cool. All right, I'm playing with my fabric here. Some deep burgundies, beautiful purples and pinks. All sorts of gorgeous pieces here. 32 in total. And remember, uh, a couple weeks ago, I showed you the Kasuri Batik. That was the Indigos from Robert Kaufman. So freshening things up, making things look beautiful. This one here, super gorgeous. I'm going to come back to this one in a second. to push them up to see them all. Oh, so luscious, 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 gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. So that one that I held aside here, I wanna show you how beautifully this works with the Euphoria line that we have by Create Joy Project. So Create Joy Project has the beautiful watercolor, painterly style fabrics, right? These are digitally printed that just are so vibrant and glorious. And this here, this is a batik print that would totally work with it. So the batik hand dyed, it, technically this is probably a hand dye, not a batik. The batik would technically have the um, resist technique where you'd be stamping things on, where this is simply different saturated hand dyes. So it goes all the way through on the digitally printed pieces that are printed on, 
you can see it's just on the top of the fabric. And we have a couple of those digitally printed. I'm just walking over to the um, rack here so that I can grab a piece to show you. So like this here, this is part of the Create Joy project. This is a digitally printed print, but it's really to represent something like this. So you can add in the live pieces here with the digitally printed, have them work super great together. Don't be afraid of mixing prints and batiks together. It's all cotton. It all works really well. Even if you start playing around with different substrates and use some rayon and cotton and things like that, just know the fibers that you're working with when you're playing with them together. Be aware of their shrink rates and um, if they would have any tendency to bleed or behave in an un unpleasant experience so that uh, you know how to work with it as well as care for your finished project project afterwards. But don't be afraid to play around and mix things up. Uh, there are no quilt police, at least at Patchworks, that are going to make you stick with just one style of fabric or um, make you adhere to any of those rules. So feel free to play. And I love how these batiks happen to have that essence of the same fabrics as we have in the fabric collection of the Create Joy Project. So. These gorgeous pieces of Eufloria are just glorious and so yummy. Okay. So I talked about our bundle of the week, which is an excellent value. I showed you the brand, brand, brand new Mambo Batiks. And yes, 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 I have been singing all for the past couple weeks, or past couple days, so I guess that's all week, while I've been getting the fabrics ready. You know, you have it in your head. Hey, Mambo, Mambo. So you are welcome. You are now going to be singing that for, you know, the rest of the night at least. And uh, it can be just fun when you're playing around with that. So you can dance around your sewing room and just have some extra joy. Another thing I want to share with you with the batiks is that as we got in some new batiks, you know, it's time to freshen things up a little bit. And so you guys have been just killing the sale room and we had to add some more stuff because it was just getting wiped out. So what we thought we would do is that we would add a whole bunch of clearance or batiks to the clearance section. So currently, we have 190 bolts in clearance batik, which are $8.99 a yard. <gasps> Isn't that exciting? And we have about 30 or so more to finish marking down tomorrow. And what we did is we put them in the center of the store so that they're really easy to look at. So, um, well, maybe we should even just take a little look so I can show you what they look like. I know you'll be excited. You never know what's going to happen when I'm by myself, right? Okay, we're going to go for a walk. Da, 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 don't look at my mess. Okay. Do, 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 do. See, I told you there's dangerous things here. So, we're coming along here. Look at this. Oh, this is so glorious. So, this is our batiks that we've added to our clearance section to make room for all sorts of amazing new fabrics and new batiks that are coming because we just have to freshen things up. So all of these here are $8.99. You'll want to scoop them up. They are on the website and we have put them on the front of our website as well. There's a slide that links you just to these. <gasps> Super cool. So in store, it is quarter yard. Uh, minimum is all you need. Online, I do, I have the um, clearance fabric at yard minimum. But that is only because we want to make sure that um, 
we don't sell out of sometimes our end of bolts are a little weird so we want to make sure that we have the least amount of adjustments required in order to help you buy all the fun fabric so i'm just plugging it back in and then i can go and answer any questions i hope that's super exciting i think it's exciting all right let's come back over here Oh, I see Linda's saying, oh, I am killing, I'm killing her. I don't mean to kill you. So lots of good, good things. And I hope you love it. All right. So, and someone had asked me how long is the sale going on? These have been marked down. So they are on sale for as long as they last. If we sell out tomorrow, they are gone. Um, and if they are still here Two weeks from now, they are still the same price. So there's no change of price. These are just ones that need to go home with you. And uh, as we replenish our stock and freshen things up and bring in all sorts of great new things. And um, in the other parts of the store, we've also been going through and freshening things up. So you want to check out the sales section because Lisa has been busy adding all sorts of bolts. So lots of great things to look at. Okay, now, oh, Kathy wants to know, can we use batiks for a temperature quilt? And, oops, that doesn't click. The, I was going to, um, I was using my finger to touch the monitor since I'm touching my different thing there. So she wants to know, can we use batiks for a temperature quilt? Absolutely. And uh, we're gonna be talking temperature quilt tomorrow. And, but that's the rainbow collection of fabrics that you can, put together in different ways to track the temperatures and just have a journal of the different thing of your year. So absolutely, you can use batiks for that. All right, so great question. Thank you for asking, Kathy. While I clean these up, let me know if anybody else has any questions on anything. Um, as I said, we did get the layer cake jelly roll charm pack for the Mambo Batiks as well. I didn't grab them for my table, um, but just know if you click on the link, you can see them and they're good to go. Okay, now other fabrics that we got kind of switching, switching themes. We just received Moon Glow by Ruby Star Society. That is a 28 fabric collection. I'm going to show it to you. It is a little bit more contemporary. And, um, but it, for people who like all these cool on trend colors and love Ruby Star fabrics, this is a fabulous fabulous line. So let me show you these overhead. Oh goodness, beautiful. So the key piece here is right here. And all of these are already on the floor. We have some backgrounds. This one here, this blender piece, this is just a, um, a white on cream. And so that could be doesn't even have to be contemporary. So it's this pattern on the cream fabric. We have an added up print. And this rust with the um, fuchsia, it's super hot. Lots of gorgeous fabrics here. This is that background print again. And just rounding out the collection, it goes into the blues. So great graphic designs. This is Moonglow. 
by Ruby Star Society. And I have that on the front page of our website as well. The Fat Quarter Tower is $84.50. And the Half Yard Tower would be, oh, if I can do math here, that would be $169. So beautiful fabrics. Fabrics by the yard for this collection are $12.48 a yard. That also is the price per yard of the batiks that I just showed you. So those are our collection new arrivals this week so far. We have just done a restock of some of our Northcott basics. So a lot of neutrals have come back. Um, we have a restock on order that has not yet come for our PNB uh, whites, the white on white fabrics. We have a huge uh, restock of our grunge that we're waiting on. There's some that have been back ordered with that gorgeous glimmer and gleam quilt that we've been talking about and talking about and talking about. Speaking of the glimmer and gleam, I have to share with you one of our customers had asked us to put together a neutral pack to go along with the color story. Let me see if I can find that picture here. Do I have the picture? Right here. So this picture right here, which is the alternate color story. This is the main color. Oh, sorry. This is the main color story here. And Sarah J, who's the designer, had gone ahead and put together an alternate color story. So I wanted to just remind everyone that we can help you put together a custom look. And this one here, we'd be able to help you um, put together the kit for as well. We did run out of this background here. However, we have a whole bunch of really great cream backgrounds. And what we were able to do as well is, I'm not going to take these all apart, but you know, those wonderful stickers that, sticker labels that Heidi's been doing on them, she did include them on these as well. And what uh, Sarah J had done when she had picked this palette, she picked 19 fabrics instead of the larger range of colors that she had in previous, in the rainbow collection. And then she had indicated which ones you're using where. So that is incredibly helpful with the labeling that Heidi had done. And just let us know if you would like one of those. We have, we currently sold the last complete rainbow kit. We are working on making more of them. We're waiting on a few of the fabrics. Let us know if you would be interested in a color only pack and choosing your own adventure for the background. Uh, we are waiting on the exact background. Once again, we have a ton of great white grunges or you could just use plain white. Um, but let me know if you wanted to play along as well as we have the patterns back in stock too. So all sorts of great things and I'm so excited that all of you are so excited for this gorgeous quilt. So you might be wondering behind me why the heck I am showing you an empty cabinet. Well, I am super excited. I think I might have even teased about this last week that we were going to be getting something super cool. We've been waiting for this since October and I am excited to say that we are just in the process of assembly of our Mettler Metrozine cabinet. So what is this? Well, um, Mettler Metrozine is 100% polyester thread. So why would you want that? Well, we've been showing you all sorts of really amazing projects in for these Biani 
project bags that we've been doing. We've been talking about sewing with Shannon Cuddle. And those types of projects that are more general sewing that get a little bit more wear and tear, you may want to be using polyester. The polyester thread that we current that we previously had in stock was a bottom line fine, 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 very, very thin polyester thread. This here, the Metrazine, is 100% polyester and it is 50 weight. So it is thin, like our Orofil, but it is thicker than what the bottom line had been. I don't quite know if we're able to see. Oh, have I been looking overhead that you could, couldn't see what I was talking about here? So these right here, and this is the thickness of the thread. Can be used on all fabrics and seams. The thread is easy iron, shrink proof, and offers great color fastness. High tensile strength, optimal elasticity, ideal smoothness, sm smoothness, high quality surface. So really, really great. You can use for sewing, quilting, embroidery, serging. So this is what we're going to be stocking. It is $3.80 a spool. We will still continue to carrying the Orofil because Orofil is the perfect piecing thread that we use in our quilting. But I know a lot of you are doing more sewing and you may be wanting to expand your thread and I've been having to send you elsewhere and maybe you don't want to make another trip and you just wanted to pick up some basic colors here. So we have a cabinet of this many colors, 140 something I think, and really great start. If we need all of them, we can add more, but I think that this selection is going to be really great to get us where we need. We will have larger spools of black and white that we have been carrying for some time already. So yes, Linda is saying great all-purpose sewing thread and Roxanne says great for using with Shannon Cuddle. Yes, this is the recommended thread for using that Teresa recommends for using with Shannon. And it is also what is recommended for our bag sewing. So hopefully we just have win, 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 and I'm super excited to share that with you. All right, so I'm teasing you with that gorgeous bag behind me, and I have to show you first the great show and tell of the new project that Karen made for us. And then we are gonna talk about a little bit of a demo about one of the free and downloadable patterns for an easy skill builder that by Annie has shared with us. So first off, let's look at what Karen made this week for us. So she made two things. She made the running with scissors case and the take a stand. So the reason why she made both is that they are designed to work together. They can be used separately, but they also can be worked together. So on top here, this is the running with scissors. This is super cool for putting all of your great tools in. And you have some zipper action here. You have some mesh. We have some vinyl. This is the first project that we are showing you with vinyl. Instead of using the fold over elastic here, Karen decided to use some beautiful binding. Have some place to hold your thread. Gorgeous pockets on this side. And then what you can do is you get to zip all this up. Let's zip this guy up. So you can take everything with you, very portable. You can put a mini cutting mat in here. 
could put some patterns in there. Just very versatile to be able to store and take everything. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. So this is the Running With Scissors tool case. As a reminder, all of these full-size patterns do come with free complimentary add-on videos from by Annie herself off of her website. The coupon code is right in here for you, and it's just really great. Um, the videos are $5 if you don't buy the pattern because, well, she wants to you to get the pattern but you do also need the pattern for all of your proper cutting instructions as well so that's really nice and this can stand either on its own or over the take a stand bag the take a stand bag is available in two sizes Karen went ahead and made it in the large size for us it has this great adjustable strap on it I'm just going to leave it long and wear it here look at this I could even see, I don't have a featherweight, but I'm wondering, a featherweight might even fit in here. That'd be fun. Okay, so the way this one works, this gorgeous zipper, it opens up into an ample rectangle size. And with the soft and stable in here, it has that structure so that it stands all by itself. This calls for a base stabilizer so it is the seven and three quarters by 14 and three quarter stabilizer which we have in stock and then uh, inside you can have some pockets so this has the mesh pocket with the fold over elastic on both sides and then on the outside you do have secure zippers pouches. Really, really fun. We used uh, some of the Ruby Star canvas that we have on the outside. I know that we have a few other canvases in stock. We have some canvas coming, which I'm really excited about. And we have just ordered um, a little bit more canvas so that you can have more variety in your other substrates to be able to be working on your project bags with. So come on in, check this out to be able to take a peek for, with that. And this is the Take a Stand stand-up tote, which does offer the two different size tote bags. But as I said, we have a fun little tutorial for you where we're going to show you something a little bit more doable and if you've never worked with this before. And this is the little pedophore boxes. So the pedophore boxes are great for just holding on to your little things. You can, we're going to be using them in store here as little shopping baskets, even as you pick out your little um, totes, uh, your little tote accessories that you need to be picking out. So all of that bag hardware, so you have somewhere to keep it while you're shopping. And it's a really great pattern and the first one that we are going to be sharing in our tutorial section. So let me just grab these things over here so I can share them with you. So the, the little tote right here, it is, or little pedophore basket, it's super cute. We used white here, thread here so that you could just see everything that we were doing. It is smallish and fun. And I think um, Kayla had posted to our Facebook party or Patchworks party. She had posted a whole stack of these that she made. And this would even be a really great project to be able to make um, if you celebrate Easter and you want to have little fun little Easter basket for giving people things, or if you need to make St. Patrick's Day baskets to give some fun things. Any fun little treat, this is a great retreat present for giving people things. This is a free and downloadable pattern. I do have a couple printouts here 
Oh, and Kayla says, awesome gift for coworkers. So all of the instructions are here and we're going to be going through them. Let me get you the link if you had wanted to download that and work on it tonight. Because you know, I know that you all are super excited. So what does this take? This takes, two, per each one, two 10 inch squares and a 10 by 11 piece of soft and stable. So soft and stable, that's this foamy stuff. And yes, if it's laying around, it might get a little yellow. Um, that's okay, it's still great. It just might get a little yellow. So this one is, I think this is a little scrap that I've had hanging around for a little bit. Whereas this would have been the one that Lisa just used for the project. But if you have some of this and some of this at home, don't worry about it. It's the same thing and it is not deteriorating or um, causing any harm at all. Notions that you will like that would be specific for biani projects would be, I would, you would want to make sure that you have some wonder clips. These are the regular size we have in the 10 pack, the 50, the 100 pack. There are these little tiny mini ones as well, which are super cute. And then we also have the wonder clip packs that are the multi-sized so that you have the 10 minis, the 10 regular, and then six jumbos. And that one is $18.95. The 10 pack is of the regular size is $7.25. And then the collection of 20 minis is $13.50. The Biani Stiletto is recommended over other stilettos for Biani projects. You can see here that it has this flat side so it won't roll off your table. It has this blunt end here for being able to press and fold, so act for helping you fold things over. It's really nice and lightweight. It is made of German high carbon steel. It's ergonomically grip, or has a nice grip here. And then, the but the big, big, big thing here is that this point, and you really can't see it, but it is sand ground for traction, okay? So many of the other stilettos are, have a traditional shiny finish, but this has um, that sand ground point, and so it's not going to slide, it grips onto things, and will help you work, especially as you are navigating through the soft and stable foam. So. That's just a little plug for this tool. I still love my other stilettos, but sometimes you just need them all. Okay, and <laughs> you need them all, not to be confused with an all, A-W-L. <laughs> I'm so funny. Okay, so that's my little commercial, and it is $19.95 for this particular tool. But it's awesome and lasts forever. Okay, so let me walk you through how this goes together. As I said, you are going to be starting with uh, two 10 inch squares. And what you're going to do is you are going to start by taking a your, your fabric here. And this fabric is the one that we want to be the outside fabric. So we're gonna trim that 10 by 10 piece to nine by 10, and we're gonna put it on top of a piece of 10 by 11 stabilizer. So you're gonna wanna smooth it on and pin it in place and then stitch around it so you can hold it all in place, okay? When you are stitching all around, so you're stitching an eighth of an inch from the edge of the fabric here, and using that stiletto will just help everything stay in place as you're working on it. Then what you're going to do is you're gonna trim that soft and stable 
all the way around to match the main fabric. Okay, so we have this end not trimmed and this end we have it trimmed off so that you can imagine us actually trimming it. Next, what we are going to be doing is we are going to be prepping for turning it into the basket. So when we're prepping it for turning it into the basket so that it's easy to hold, easy to fold, we are going to mark our lines. Okay, so you're going to measure in two and a half inches from each side and draw a line. We used a pencil here so that you can see it, and I would recommend you doing something that would be uh, less visible later, just a traditional marking utensil along the way. After you have marked those lines, you will want to go ahead and stitch those. And by stitching it, it will then create an easy fold so that this will just stay in place and it will also make sure that that fabric's not going to shift at all in the basket. Of course, if you wanted to embellish it with any special quilting or applique, you absolutely can, but this is just a basic tutorial for starting to work with this soft and stable and being able to manipulate it and showing you that it's really, really very simple to use. Again, when you are stitching along all the marked lines, you'll want to make sure to use a stiletto to keep the fabrics from shifting as you sew. After you have stitched these in place, you are going to want to start transforming your rectangle into the bag. So you are going to cut out and turn this into an eye, okay? So you're going to cut carefully cut out the sections on these outside edges here. Now we went ahead and stitched that, edge stitched it just so that everything stayed nice and together and intact. So you have nice finished edges. So you're going to do that on both sides. Make sure as you're trimming that you trim it close to your stitching. Next up, we are going to, after we've stitched, after we've cut this, we're going to stitch it in place. So that looks just like this, okay? So we stitched using just a regular seam allowance here, okay, a half inch seam allowance so that it turns really, really nice. And after you sew, and so when we did this, instead of using pins, we used our wonder clips to hold this together. And you want to make sure that you're back stitching on each end, okay? So when you're back stitching, because you want to make sure that this isn't going to come apart as you're turning and using it. After this part is together, guess what we're going to do? What do you think? I bet we're going to go like this. We're going to open this up and we're going to stitch along here, okay? So let me show you what that looks like for our step six. After we've sewn it together, see we sewed it together right there, after we sewed it together, it looks like this. But remember I said this is the outside. So what you're going to do is that you are going to turn it right side out. Well, that didn't look that hard. What do you think? Barb really likes the fabrics that we're using. These are super, super cute. Kim Schaefer fabrics, so happy. We're going to get the lining together now. So with the lining, 
we're just going to take a piece of fabric and the piece of fabric is just the 10 by 10. So we're starting with the 10 by 10 square and we are not worried about um, having an odd shape. So if you start with a layer cake square, you just do not trim that down. We are going to draw lines at a little bit different dimension. So we're drawing at two and a quarter and three and a quarter, okay? After we have drawn those lines, we are going to go ahead and we are going to cut out this section, okay? So be careful to cut only on the center sections of each side. Don't go, come just to the point, don't overcut. Just come to the point and cut all around. And then we are going to uh, start piecing that together. So similar to what we did with the stabilized piece, we are going to fold this together, right? Fold it together, and now we'll stitch here, just like that. And guess how we're going to do it next? Open this up and stitch the boxed bottom on each side, right? So the one thing we do want to do, though, is that we want to leave a little hidey hole on one of the sides so that we can turn everything super nice. Okay? Make sense? All right. Now, after that is together, we are going to want to put everything together. Okay? So how are we going to do that? That is going to be final assembly where we layer on our lining right sides together over our piece. We're going to stitch all the way around and then when we flip it out You'll turn it. You can either hand stitch or machine stitch. You know, there's really no need to hand stitch it unless if you had wanted to. And you're going to edge stitch in the ditch here. And there you go. Super cute little box. So you can make a whole bunch of them. And if you were making a whole bunch of them for your friends or family, or for your sewing room, for your organization, you know, it's, you can make a dozen at a time, however you, you want to stay organized, and just chain sew them together. But super, super fun, super nice, fill and enjoy. So who else has made it? I know that, Kayla, you have made a whole bunch of these. Has anyone else made them? If you have, make sure to share them in our Patchworks Party group. If there is anyone interested, I would be more than happy to put little kits together to make four of these. Um, I wasn't quite sure since we really haven't done anything like that. Is that something interesting to actually just have sew and go kits to be able to make four of them just like Julie so that you'd have eight 10 by 10 squares of fabric and four uh, 10 by 11 pieces of soft and stable? Let me know if that is interesting. I always like to know to be able to show you fun and cool things. Are there any questions here? Lots of fun stuff to look at, right? All right. Whew. Lots of great stuff, but I was able to wrap that all together. So what else do I have to show you tonight? Well, that was my project of tonight. I am super excited to be able to share with you tomorrow that we are going to be coming back at you and um, 
we'll be doing the temperature quilt. We'll also be doing toes in the sand. I'll be sharing the drawing results from our skinny bolt event last uh, last Friday night. Uh, we had some five door prizes that I haven't awarded yet, so I'll be announcing those winners. And Eileen wants to know how much would the kits possibly be? Will they be value priced um, off the top of my head? I don't know. Um, I'm guessing, uh, if I'm just thinking here, oh, that was putting me on the spot here. Um, eight. So, I mean, maybe $20, I'm not sure. So, I would want to have it be a value price. So, my, so that would be the, the thought. So, let me know if that seems interesting. I can't promise that price, but that would be the thought of what it would be. Okay. Let me show you for the last time our bundle of the week. Just in case if you tuned in late, I want to make sure that you can see that in its full glory. And also make sure to check out our clearance boutique section that we have where there are boutiques at $8.99 a yard. <gasps> woo -hoo -hoo. Super exciting. And if you had played along with our skinny bolt sale that we had last week, that was super fun and I learned a lot. Um, so to be able to improve on that for future weeks, we plan on doing a skinny bolt sale once a month to be able to share some fun steals and deals for you. All right. Oh, and then one last thing before I let you go. So we have uh, been collecting for the Books Ahead book bag challenge. And I just want to let you know that we have reached 100 book bags collected. So congratulations and thank you to all of you. Uh, we'll be scheduling an, another pickup at the end of March. So keep on sewing those bags so that we can provide all sorts of really great things, great, great book bags for the program. And if you are into books yourself, the Elm Grove Library is having their annual book sale this weekend. I believe it starts tomorrow. I don't have all the details on it, but it is uh, this weekend, and I know it's always a great, fun, exciting weekend to go. So, you know, hop over here, pick up some fabric, hop over to the library, grab some books, and then make sure to hop over to Fazio's and get some wonderful chocolate. So, Thank you again for tuning in. Make sure to tune in tomorrow night at 7 o'clock Well, we'll be talking about all things Jaybird. Have a great night, happy quilting, and we'll see you soon.